Well, at the time I started competing, my son was six or seven. I had to leave him at home. And let me tell you, I won a lot and that involves money and I was still broke. Lots of sacrifice, but that just tells you how much we love it. Most successful competitive groomers have this kind of fatal personality flaw where we're just obsessed with it and it's addictive and we like to come and we like to see um, others that are at the top of the game. We like to just, you know, test our skills against each other. And it's just one of those things where once you get a taste of it, then you just keep coming back and back and back. And it's, it's just something that becomes part of your genetic makeup and you just can't stop. <laughs> This go around, I felt really compelled to come because the team was just outstanding and I have been retired from active competition for 23 years. I think we, we as groomers, um, we developed this competitive side. Competing is, is like an addiction and if you can combine grooming with that competitive portion of it. It's just create a, a way of life. It's part of us. Just under 11 minutes. 11 minutes remaining. The thing that I love about competition grooming for me is being in the ring and being able to create my art with no interruptions. It's so busy in the grooming shop and at dog shows, you know, you have so many interruptions that you're always talking to people and talking on the phone. And when you're in the competition ring, it's you, the dog and your scissors. And you can just be in your Zen space and create. And it's, it's a really great feeling. The groom ball was an amazing thing. It was different. There were uh, supposed to be five different grooms occurring and you could have either four or five competitors doing those five different grooms. Now, based on the points accumulated for those four grooms, you either proceeded or did not proceed into the last round. It all rested on that last and final groom, okay, which had to have been very harrowing for that groomer because that's a lot of pressure. My favorite part of competing is just being able to have the time set aside to do a really good job on your dogs because I love grooming dogs, I love art, but when you're in a salon setting, you're on a time frame and it's not realistic to sit there for like two, two and a half hours and just nitpick. So it's really satisfying to be able to have that time specifically dedicated to sitting there and just sculpting your dog out. After being in first for the first two rounds, okay, we did uh, get reserved best in show, which was an amazing feat with amazing groomers. Groomers and competitors, we kind of build up a family together. Um, being at the show, enjoy my dogs, enjoy the company of my friends, and then start over again probably a couple of weeks later.